In-depth investigative. This is KXAN News at Noon. Lawsuits are piling up related to last month's deadly school bus crash in Bastrop County. Attorneys representing seven Hay CISD students and a parent just filed a million dollar lawsuit. That suit is against the truck driver involved, Jerry Hernandez, and the owner of the company he worked for, that's FJM Concrete Pumping. Attorneys claim both were negligent. You'll remember Hernandez veered into oncoming traffic, hitting the bus and causing it to roll over. Hernandez admitted in a police report he had used cocaine within 24 hours of the crash. The lawsuit accuses the company of negligent hiring and training. We did reach out to Hernandez and the owner of the company. We'll let you know when we hear anything back. And the parents of the child who died during the bus crash last month have also filed a lawsuit. And that's also against the truck driver, Jerry Hernandez, FJM Concrete Pumping, and the company's owner. The lawsuit is accusing the driver and the truck and the truck company and the company of gross negligence. Other lawsuits have been filed on behalf of a preschool teacher aboard the bus and the mother of a child who was on the bus. Right now on KXAN.com, we do have a deeper look into the investigation, including more about the two victims who were killed. We're also getting a deeper look into how Austin police investigate deaths on Lady Bird Lake. Seeing APD's crime scene unit in such a public area can really raise eyebrows and questions. 11 bodies have been pulled from the lake since 2022. Police have repeatedly said the deaths are not connected, and we would like to give you a perspective now from the officer's point of view. KXAN's Brianna Hollis sat down with a sergeant in the city's homicide unit. To start off, let's just get into why the police department responds to every time somebody calls to report a dead body seen in Lady Bird Lake. Sure, pretty much any time that there is a death in Austin that is outside of the Austin Homicide Unit will respond to that. Death investigations related to bodies found in Lady Bird Lake often look like this. Lights from police, EMS, and fire vehicles, crime scene tape. But Homicide Sergeant Nathan Sexton explains that doesn't always mean something suspicious happened. 11 bodies have been found in the lake since the beginning of 2022. One, which happened in 2022, was ruled a homicide, and police found no evidence of foul play in any other. One of the biggest hangups we have is toxicology will take months. So unfortunately for those months, we don't know what was in their system. Um, the official ruling's not out, so we can't make a public statement. If there was trauma, if somebody had been stabbed or shot, we would definitely release that very quickly on, especially if we believe there was a threat to the public. Sergeant Sexton also says police typically share limited information if cases involve medical issues or suicides. From a, a law enforcement perspective, what information you guys would give about a homicide that you wouldn't give about a suicide? Yeah, we're trying to respect the family's privacy. So in a homicide, we want uh, we're often trying to get information from the public to find whoever did this. Uh, if there's multiple suspects, just get as much information as we can about the homicide. Uh, whereas a suicide, typically it's kind of known what happened and we're, we want to be respectful to the family and releasing too many details may, may upset them or cause you know undue hurt on top of what they're already having to deal with. Brianna Hollis, KXAN News. Police say the Lady Bird Lake cases involve victims of different ethnicities, genders, and walks of life, and no common thread connects them. Two of the bodies found in the lake last year were found near Rainy Street. An autopsy report showed the individuals had alcohol in their system, but no illegal drugs. Since then, the city started to make some safety changes. It added temporary solar lighting, a fence barrier, a gate near the access to the lake, and increased park ranger patrols. A consultant group gave more recommendations recommendations and those could be installed this summer. We now know the name of the man who died after an 18 wheeler crashed into a DPS building last Friday in Brenham, Texas. Six people were hurt there, including 78 year old Bobby Huff, who died at the hospital. Two victims remain in critical but stable condition. The driver, Clenard Parker, remains in jail facing multiple charges. Those include aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, evading arrest and unauthorized use of a vehicle. The Texas Rangers are now investigating that crash. First warning weather. We're showing you a live look this afternoon from 
Lake Travis, where you can see the water still remains pretty low out there. Clouds are hanging around and we do have rain chances in the forecast. So let's check in now with meteorologist Nick Bannon. And Nick, give us a timeline about that rain that we're going to see. Yeah, so it's really just going to be hit and miss between now through Friday. The real wall of water that we're all going to get beneficial rain out of looks more likely to be Saturday. So in between then and now, just occasional dribbles of sprinkles and also a couple of uh, spotty isolated thunderstorms too. What's happening out now over Lake Travis from our Oasis restaurant camera is the gloom, the cloudiness, the drizzle, the sprinkles. No rain out there now, just the drizzle and no storms either. We are seeing some breaks in the clouds though in parts of the hill country where some of our warmer numbers are. San Sab is up to 80. Most of us though aren't far behind in the mid to upper 70s. It's not just warm, it is humid. Dew point 70 or above is tropical and we're just about all feeling that extra humidity here today. We'll carry low rain chances at 10% through early evening. The first half of the afternoon, those low rain chances are just to account for the drizzle and sprinkles. But later in the afternoon, we may also see a very rogue thunderstorm popping up uh, as well. Rain chances and storm chances go up a little bit tonight. We'll track the timing for that. A slightly higher risk of severe storms comes tomorrow, and then we'll take you into those wet times this weekend particularly Saturday, all coming up in first warning weather. All right, thank you so much, Nick. The city of Austin may not have enough money for its future plans. City council members got a look at Austin's finances and city staff said we are likely to see a budget deficit this fiscal year. So that wraps up at the end of September. City staff also said it's not just the current budget that could feel the pinch. As the city looks at the future budget starting this summer, conversations could include what needs to be cut for the first time in a pretty long time. This is a very different forecast than we had from last year. This change in the fiscal environment requires us to have uh, fiscal discipline so that we can maintain solid finances in this organization. And Austin City Manager will release his proposed budget in mid-July. Austin City Council will then work through that budget. It will go into place October 1st. Right now, 100 senators are being sworn in as jurors in the trial for Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas. Yesterday, representatives from the House delivered articles of impeachment. The ceremonial action, though, kicks off what's expected to be a very short trial in the upper chamber. It's still unclear, though, exactly how short that trial can be. Republicans are fighting to drag out the process, hoping to shine the spotlight on what they say see as Mayorkas's failure to secure the southern border. None of the Senate's 51 Democrats have said they support the impeachment, and even a handful of GOP senators have said the impeachment is meritless. In the meantime, seven jurors are now seated for Donald Trump's hush money trial as prosecutors and lawyers spar over social media posts from four years ago. NBC's Laura Jarrett has more now. Seven people now officially sworn in as jurors to hear the people of the state of New York versus Donald J. Trump. A cross-section of Manhattan residents openly revealing their views of the likely GOP nominee as Mr. Trump sat in court listening to lawyers spar over who could be fair and impartial. Everything is screwed up in New York and the whole world is watching. Roughly two dozen prospective jurors eventually whittled down to the foreman, a 28-year-old in sales, originally from Ireland. Two attorneys, an oncology nurse, an IT consultant, a teacher, and a software engineer. Those jurors getting only a short preview of the charges Mr. Trump has pled not guilty to for falsifying business records in an effort, prosecutors say, to bury evidence of a payout to an adult film actress on the eve of the 2016 election, something Mr. Trump has repeatedly denied. The final panel of 12 jurors and six alternates will stay anonymous, but some prospective jurors were confronted Tuesday with old social media posts uncovered by the defense team. One man who wrote, quote, lock him up on Facebook, removed by the judge for cause. Others expressing support for the former president. The often tedious nature of the jury selection process turning into almost an impromptu focus group. One woman saying he stirs the pot. One man revealing he was a big fan of The Apprentice in middle school. A former corrections officer saying he kind of enjoys the way Mr. Trump walks into a room. One of the excused jurors finding the process surreal. You get the sense that it's like, oh, this is just another guy 
And also he sees me talking about him, which is bizarre. But day two of trial was also marked by a flash of anger from the judge. Appearing disturbed by something inaudible, Mr. Trump apparently muttered as a juror was questioned about Facebook posts, scolding the former president, I will not have any jurors intimidated in this courtroom. And that was Laura Jarrett reporting. A Boeing whistleblower claims a widely used plane could break apart. Ellie says the engineering could lead to disaster. And does the order you were born in, your family, affect your personality? We'll take a look at the viral new trend called the elder daughter syndrome. Straight ahead. A workplace accident can quickly leave you unable to work, causing monthly bills to start piling up. Thomas J. Henry. The name you know, the firm you trust. Teeth are amazing. That's why at Affordable Dentures and Implants, we have new financing options to help you get a new smile today, not someday. Scan the QR code or call to learn more. Go ahead and smile. Are you tired of living with that awful joint pain in your knees, hips, back, and shoulder? Ready to get your life back? Call QC Kinetics now, the nation's leader in regenerative medicine. These non-invasive treatments harness your body's own healing power to restore and repair damaged joint tissue. No drugs, no downtime, no surgery. Call QC Kinetics now for your free consultation. Learn how all-natural advanced regenerative medicine can bring you lasting relief. QC Kinetics. What would you do if you won a big jackpot? Buy a new car. Take a vacation. Pay off your house. Turn your dreams into reality at Texas' premier entertainment destination. Kickapoo Lucky Eagle Casino Hotel in Eagle Pass, Texas. Welcome to Whisper Valley, where sustainable living is good for you and good for the earth. With over 600 acres of parks, trails, organic gardens, and resort amenities, Whisper Valley is designed around a healthy lifestyle and powered by the earth's natural energy. Come explore our enriching lifestyle, great schools, and beautiful homes, and live the greater good life just 20 minutes from downtown Austin. Visit whispervalleyaustin.com. Trucks are dangerous and they can cause big, bad injuries. But the big trucking companies don't stand a chance against me. These big truck companies have big insurance policies. So if you're hurt by one, call me. I'll fight to make them pay. And if I don't win your big truck case, you don't owe me a dime. I'm attorney Ted Lorenz. You've been hurt by a big truck, call me. I'm on top of it. Hurt by a big truck, Ted Lorenz is on top of it. At Affordable Dentures and Implants, our Snap Secure Dental Implants will help you eat and speak with confidence at a price that's affordable. So if you think you can't afford dental implants, think again. Go ahead and smile. Some things you just see and you know what's coming. Like when you see this, you know what's coming next. What exactly happened? What got us to this spot? How do you respond to that? It's not just the big team. It's the results. In-depth, investigative journalism. We very much want to get your side of the story. That means something. That does something. So what needs to happen now? Asking the right questions gets results. That's what's coming. KXN Investigate. And welcome back. Here's a live look now from Lakeway. Not much wind, but it is a gray sky out there, and we know that we have some rain chances in our forecast. Nick will be in in a few minutes to break down that timeline for us shortly. All right, well, our birth order and the eldest daughter syndrome, a real thing. NBC's Hoda Kotb is taking a closer look after a viral post sparked some new conversations. Birth order is something that has been discussed and dissected for decades. Alfred Adler developed birth order theory. But thanks to what some say are spot on takes on eldest daughters on social media, firstborn girls are having a moment. If you know an oldest daughter or an oldest sibling, give them a hug and say thank you. A New York Times article entitled Why Your Big Sister Resents You has eldest sisters and their loved ones buzzing, citing viral content like this post on X asking, are you happy or are you the oldest sibling and also a girl? The comment section becoming something of a support group. 
Eldest daughter syndrome is not an official mental health diagnosis. It's a term coined to describe the unique pressures and responsibilities placed onto the oldest daughter in the family. In short, this TikTok video from Katie Morton, a licensed marriage and family therapist and youngest sibling, has been viewed more than six and a half million times. One, you have an intense feeling of responsibility. Two, you are an overachiever, type A and very driven. The topic has been discussed at length on podcasts. We're definitely what I call like bonus parents. Family therapist Sarah Stanizai has had an overwhelming response to a support group she created for fellow oldest daughters. When you're in a room of people who absolutely understand it, even though they might have their own sort of nuances to it, hearing each other's stories and also being heard, what that's really telling you is you're not abnormal. Middle children are often described as having big personalities, the youngest outgoing and social. The research on birth order personality traits is mixed. Experts say it may not matter. If it matters to you, then it matters. So interesting. It's Very fascinating. Interesting. Okay, you have siblings. I do, and I am you the do oldest. As well. So I do kind of think it might be an oldest kid syndrome. It doesn't mm. have to be gendered necessarily. And you do feel like you worry about the others more, more so than they are worrying about you. Yeah. That's definitely the case in mine. Yeah. What I, about you? We just have an ongoing thing. My younger sister and I, that she's the favorite. <laughs> <laughs> and, but, you know, I don't know what's true. My son now thinks that uh, Mila, our uh -huh. daughter, who's one, is the favorite because, mm. you know, we have to give a one-year-old more attention yeah. than seven. Yeah. But, you know, that's just the reality of, you know, she can't walk upstairs yes. unsupervised. So you yeah, you've yeah. got to be there for her. <laughs> got to be there. Anyway. So interesting. Uh, let's take you outside on a gloomy and very warm beginning to your afternoon here on this Wednesday. This is how it looks from our Highland Furniture and River City Grill camera there in Marble Falls, where we're already at 78, even with these thick clouds around. I do expect we'll start to see some breaks in the clouds this afternoon. It won't be a lot of sun, but I think some will go from cloudy to mostly cloudy. There's really not a lot of wet weather around, but you may have been driving through some drizzle and sprinkles from time to time. There's going to be a low chance for a storm to pop up later today. You can see this big dip uh, there in the jet stream off to the west of us, a huge trough in the atmosphere. And we're on the east side of that, getting some of this moisture pulled in from the southwest. And that's also going to lead to some occasional disturbances that may bring us a storm here or a shower there. Notice the timeline as we go into the afternoon. This particular computer model, bit on the stormy side for parts of the hill country, wrapping up the afternoon into the early evening. Not all of our computer models bring in storms early in the evening like this, but this is almost like a worst case scenario or best case scenario if you want the rain uh, in the hill country. There may be some storms late afternoon. I think a much better chance for a few showers and storms comes later this evening, say between about 7 p.m. and Midnight, I still think these aren't going to get everybody wet. Rain chances at about 20% here tonight. Then our day tomorrow starts gray like the last few. There'll probably be some drizzle in the mix. I'm a bit more optimistic about the amount of sun we may get, though, during the late afternoon and early evening. But that will come ahead of a cold front that's going to help to bring some showers and storms, especially to our northern areas, northwestern areas, 8, 9 o'clock tomorrow night. Some of these storms may be strong or severe. They will tend to lose their punch as they drift off more to the south, though. But uh, we'll be watching out for some storms late evening tomorrow. And then Friday, a lot of clouds, some drizzle, sprinkles, and some occasional showers and isolated storms. This all coming ahead of what will likely be our much wetter weather day, and that is coming Saturday. So today, mostly cloudy with an isolated storm or shower. More likely it sprinkles for you, but uh, if you were to get a storm, that wouldn't be until later this afternoon at the earliest. Storm chances rise to 20% tonight on a mostly cloudy night. We drop down to 71. That would be a record warm low temperature, by the way, tonight at both Camp Mabry and at the airport. The record stands at 71, set back in 2011. And you can see tomorrow a high of 89, very close to 90, thanks to the late day sun. And then into the evening and nighttime, a few storms possible with a severe weather risk too. We just got this new update in on the severe weather risk for tomorrow evening, literally two minutes ago, probably. I have not seen this yet until it just popped up now because I checked it before and it updated while I was on with you. And it does increase the severe weather risk to a two 
out of five tomorrow evening for just about all of the hill country and western Williamson and far western Travis County. The majority of the rest of us at a one out of five severe weather risk for tomorrow evening, tomorrow night. We're looking at damaging winds and large hail being the primary threat in the hill country. Highest rain chances though come Saturday and much lower by Sunday as drier weather takes over. And on Saturday, we're at a two out of four risk for flash flooding. You'll see why. I want to show you two computer model here, uh, computer models and how they judge the rainfall. Most of this coming Saturday, ending Sunday morning. Two to four inches could be fairly widespread with localized higher amounts. That was the American model. This is the European model, a similar idea two to four inches for many of us. This would be great news, but it could cause some localized flash flooding concerns. Saturday evening and Saturday night looks to be the wettest of that. Sunday, some leftover showers in the morning, followed by afternoon sun. We're breezy up to 68, 74 sun and clouds Monday, and we're back up to 80 on Tuesday. Do you have a breaker that keeps breaking or a plug that's just not plugging? Call Salt today. Austin's most trusted electrician since 1984. And receive $54 off with our Easter Day special. Salt of the Earth Service. Spokesperson for Lorenz and Lorenz. You got hurt in a car accident. Why should you call Ted Lorenz? Because when you're hurt, you need money. I got a client who injured their hand in a car wreck. $81,935.09. I'm on top of it. Hi folks, need some landscaping? If a landscaping chore is on your to-do list, think ABC. Hi, I'm Bobby Jenkins. Our yards need to be places we can enjoy. Grandkids too. That means planting beds, hardscapes, seating areas, landscape lighting, and outdoor kitchens. If you want those for your yard, call ABC and let our landscape designers cross that project off your to-do list. Landscaping from ABC Home and Commercial Services, specialists for your environment. With Fargo, the new virtual assistant from Wells Fargo, you can instantly know what you spend on things like food. Fargo, what did I spend on groceries this month? Hey, Dad, can the guy stay for dinner? No. Want faster, easier banking? You can with Wells Fargo. At H-E-B, everything fresh tastes better. We're all about peak freshness and peak flavor. Like our sweet Caroline blackberries. They're only available at H-E-B, and they're crazy sweet. The sweetest in Texas. Did you eat all the blackberries? Experts agree. Flavor you won't find anywhere else. One more reason why at my H-E-B, here, everything's better. Austin Clinical Research is currently looking for patients with diabetic eye disease to participate in clinical trials. Our studies offer new treatments administered in a variety of methods, including pills, eye drops, injections, and gene therapy. The leading cause of vision loss in middle-aged diabetics is diabetic retinopathy. This occurs when high blood sugars cause damage to blood vessels in the retina. While some patients may experience no symptoms at all, others may experience blurry vision, spots, strings, or cobwebs floating in their field of vision, and in severe cases, complete loss of vision. At Austin Clinical Research, our retina specialists are board certified and experienced in treating diabetic eye disease. Collectively, our staff have extensive experience in hundreds of clinical trials and have been involved in the development of every FDA-approved retinal treatment to date. Our patient volunteers are essential in bringing new and better treatments to all affected by diabetic retinopathy. To see if you might be a candidate and help us advance medicine, please call 512-279-1251. Bill O'Reilly on Cuomo. I don't say it often, but Bill O'Reilly, you're spot on. TV's liveliest, most honest debate. And I enjoy uh, doing this with you. I would never tell anybody that, Cuomo, so keep it just between you I and know. me, okay? Tonight at 8, 7 central, only on News Nation. This is it. This is what we've been training for. You're ready. We're ready. Salt keeps your AC and heater running all year long. Woo! Call now for your 129 AC tune-up. Salt of the earth. Now to an NBC exclusive, a Boeing whistleblower claims a widely flown airplane could break apart because of a production flaw, but Boeing says the claims are without merit. The Boeing engineer will testify in Washington today, but first he sat down with NBC's Tom Costello. 
Boeing 787 Dreamliner has been flying since 2011, made of a lightweight composite material and stronger than a typical aluminum fuselage. But a current Boeing quality engineer has told the FAA he believes the plane has a potentially fatal flaw. I think it's as serious as I have ever seen in my lifetime. 15-year Boeing veteran Sam Salapur will tell Congress Wednesday that the gaps between big pieces of the fuselage are too big. And even though they're fastened together, the stress could create fatigue failure in the fuselage after thousands of flights. What would happen if you had a fatigue failure in a 787 at altitude? The plane will fall apart at the joints where the, we're talking about. Once you fall apart, you're going to descend all the way to the ground. You think the plane could literally break apart in air? Absolutely. But Boeing tells NBC News we are fully confident in the 787 Dreamliner because of the comprehensive work done to ensure the quality and long-term safety of the aircraft. These claims about the structural integrity of the 787 are inaccurate. These issues do not present any safety concerns. In 2020, Boeing worked with the FAA to tighten paper-thin gaps, pausing plane deliveries for two years, stress testing the plane to 165,000 takeoffs and landings, more than three times a typical 787's lifespan, and inspecting 689 planes already in service. Boeing says it found zero evidence of fatigue. Even if these cracks would form, which there's no evidence of, the airplane is so resistant and so structurally robust, according to Boeing, that they're not going to break apart. Salapur was moved from the 787 project in 2022, he claims, in retaliation for raising these concerns internally. Boeing insists retaliation is strictly prohibited. Salapur admits he does not have access to all of Boeing's test data. Still, with 1,100 planes in service, he'll tell Congress the 787 should not be flying. Should Boeing ground the 787 right now to check the gap sizes? I would say they need to. The entire fleet worldwide? The entire fleet worldwide, as far as I'm concerned right now, needs an attention. On Monday, Boeing gave reporters a detailed briefing on its extensive stress tests, its reputation on the line after two fatal MAX 8 crashes overseas, and the MAX 9 door plug blowout in January, the subject of Wednesday's congressional hearing. Salapur's attorney says she's heard from more than half a dozen other potential whistleblowers with similar concerns. Have any of those whistleblowers agreed to come forward yet? Not yet. I think some of them will come forward, but frankly, they're terrified. I'm at peace with myself because this is going to save a lot of people's lives. That's what's at stake. That's what's at stake. Tom Castello reporting there. Tesla recently let go of 10% of its global workforce, but could it impact the tax incentives it receives from the county? Keeping you safe, warning you first. First warning weather on KXAN. At McCullough Heating and Air Conditioning, we've got great news for our Austin neighbors. For just $39, our expert technicians will diagnose your HVAC issues. And here's the best part, no hidden fees. Trust McCullough Heating and Air Conditioning to keep your home cozy. Carrier, turn to the experts. Create your perfect room for entertaining, relaxing, and more with patio enclosures. Right now, get 25% off your sunroom. Plus, enjoy exceptional financing. Call today. Patio Enclosures. Hi, I'm Bobby Jenkins. It's termite season, and termites may be feasting on your most expensive investment, your home. Don't let termites feast at your expense. Call ABC and ask about Termidor. Termidor is a unique product that offers 100% control in three months or less. It's the most effective product on the market. That's why ABC uses it. With Termidor, we'll guarantee termite control for five years and repair any new damage. ABC Home and Commercial Services, specialists for your environment. Gentry here, and I know we all love the idea of swimming in our own backyard, but here in Texas, you can only use a pool half the year. Atex has the year-round solution, the swim spa. With a swim spa, you can party with a pool in the summer and relax in your hot tub in the winter. Right now, swim with 0% for 72 months and instant cash rebates of up to eight grand. All of this for a quarter of the cost of an in-ground pool? That's a no-brainer. Turn your backyard into a year-round paradise with Atex hot tubs and pools. Austin spa and pool experts for over 50 years. Frizz, 
dryness, breakage. New Dove 10 in 1 Serum Hair Mask with Peptide Complex fortifies hair bonds at a molecular level. Helps reverse 10 signs of damage in one minute. Keep living. We'll keep repairing. When Mario needs to be at his best, he needs protection that goes beyond. Dove Men with 72 hour protection and one quarter moisturizer. So he can forget his underarms and focus on being unforgettable. Dove Men, forgettable underarms, unforgettable you. Hi, I'm Dr. John Odette, and one of the best things about having premium lens replacement at Austin Eye is that you'll never need cataract surgery. Normally, as we age, our vision continues to deteriorate until our quality of life is diminished, especially for things like driving at night or reading. But with premium lens replacement, you'll enjoy a lifetime of a full range of vision. Learn more here at Austin Eye, where our vision is perfecting yours. Call 512-250-2020. We wanted to be able to enjoy all four seasons, and patio enclosures helped us make that dream come true. The one and only patio enclosures. At McCullough Heating and Air Conditioning, we've got great news for our Austin neighbors. For just $39, our expert technicians will diagnose your HVAC issues. And here's the best part, no hidden fees. Trust McCullough Heating and Air Conditioning to keep your home cozy. Carrier, turn to the experts. This is your morning company. Wake up here, weekdays on KXAN News Today. Breaking news from KXAN News. That breaking news coming into our newsroom this afternoon. Austin Community College's South Austin campus has now been evacuated. Police are investigating a reported bomb threat there. That campus is on Stosny Lane near Manshack. That is all the information that the college has provided so far to us. But when we get any kind of updates, we will bring those to you here and online at KXAN.com. Well, now headed overseas, Israel is weighing its response to Iran's attack over the weekend. But U.S. officials tell NBC they anticipate the attack will be restricted. We also learned funds from the U.S. may soon be on the way to support Israel. NBC's Richard Engel has more on the discussions in Washington and the Middle East. Iran's president this morning couldn't have been more clear with a message to Israel, don't attack. Speaking at an army parade, he said that even the tiniest invasion by Israel would bring a massive and harsh response. We visited an Israeli military base where weapons used against Israel since October 7th are collected and analyzed. The Hamas weapons are deadly, but mostly small. Grenades and rockets with ranges of 50 miles or less. What Iran launched was in a different league. This is the tail end of one of the ballistic missiles that Iran fired at Israel over the weekend, where the engine was, it broke off when this missile was intercepted. And it's only when you're standing right up next to these, do you understand how big they are. That's where the warhead was. It also broke off carrying 800 pounds of explosives. Had these gotten through, it would have been catastrophic. Gazans are now living in a constant catastrophe. Our crew filmed the casualties from an Israeli airstrike on a market in central Gaza. Medical officials say at least 12 people were killed with many injured. Israel accuses the militants of hiding among civilians. The war here is polarizing, triggering protests and hatred on both sides, in part because of false information, often deliberately planted. This morning, we visited Syabra, a private Tel Aviv-based company that tracks disinformation. The company is releasing its findings this morning on Iran's weekend attack. Its results show that 26% of the social media accounts discussing the attack were fake, created to sway opinion. The red is the fake, the green is the real. They pushed three main narratives, sowing panic that World War III is imminent, that Israel is a terrorist state, and that Iran is a powerful nation. First warning weather with meteorologist Nick Bannon. All right, good afternoon. Let's take you out to Marble Falls. And you can see the clouds, very little sun, but plenty of warmth, 77 degrees. And we don't need the sun to uh, warm up more, but we may just get a few breaks of it in the afternoon, later in the afternoon. Uh, upper 70s, low 80s in the hill country. The areas that are already in the 80s, for the most part, have seen some thinning in the clouds. In the metro, still, it's been rather gray. 
upper 70s to just about 80, although we're at 80 at the airport. And in our eastern counties, upper 70s, but a few more low 80s like you in Flatonia at 80 degrees now. Still a gray sky for the vast majority of us. Some slight thinning in those clouds in our eastern counties, and then a little bit more of it, certainly in Mason County, where especially western half of the county is mostly sunny right now. So there'll be some thin spots in the clouds, but also a low rain chance continues. In the early afternoon, it's going to be for sprinkles and drizzle. Late in the afternoon and into the evening, those low rain chances are going to be for a shower or storm potential. And then the rain chances drop back to about zero here by 10 tomorrow morning. So where do we go from here? Well, high temperatures head for about 86 under a mostly cloudy sky. But remember, it's going to be very humid, too. So that's a very sticky 86 and still humid at 7 and 80. And skies stay mostly cloudy the majority of the night here tonight, down to 71 tomorrow morning. That would be a record warm morning low temperature. And then we'll be tracking the potential for showers and storms later tomorrow and especially into the weekend coming up in first warning weather. All right, Nick, thank you. A setback for the city of Austin in its efforts to redevelop the area south of the river from downtown. A Travis County District Judge last Friday ruled the city violated state law when it approved the use of $354 million in property tax revenue to develop the South Central Waterfront District. A group of Austin property taxpayers argued city officials shouldn't be allowed to put that money toward the development. We did ask the city for comment and we'll let you know when we hear back. Tesla will ask shareholders to reinstate the compensation package for CEO Elon Musk. That was rejected by a judge in Delaware this year and to move the electric car maker's corporate home from Delaware here to Texas. In January, a judge ruled that Musk is not entitled to a landmark compensation package awarded by Tesla's board of directors. Musk said a month later that he would try to move Tesla's corporate listing to Texas where he moved the company's headquarters. In a document filed with federal regulators on Wednesday, the company said it was putting that move up to a vote. Tesla already gets millions of dollars in tax rebates as well as some incentives from both Travis County and the Dell Valley Independent School District. So the question now becomes, will those rebates stay after the company laid off 10% of its workforce? KXA and Sarah Alshea goes in depth now to find some answers. $14 million over 10 years. That's how much Tesla receives in tax rebates from Travis County. County commissioners approved the tax incentive agreement back in 2020. Tesla promises to create a certain number of jobs, promises to do a certain amount of investment in equipment and, and the like. In return, they get the what we call tax abatements or tax credits or tax grants. But what happens when there are layoffs? On Monday, news broke that Tesla was letting go of 10% of its workforce globally. Some of those employees right here in Austin, one of them asking us to conceal their identities. It was very, very cold. Receiving an email in the middle of the night notifying them of the news. It's not just new people, it's even people that have been there three years. According to county documents, Tesla is supposed to have more than 5,000 jobs in 2024 to comply with the agreement. But there are circumstances where Tesla could lose its tax rebate. If they go below 75% of that number, then they will lose their grant. Still, even with the layoffs, University of Texas accounting professor Michael Granoff expects the company will continue receiving that money. They need approximately 3,800 employees today. Assuming that uh, Tesla was in compliance prior to uh, the, the current cut, it appears that they're not immediately subject to any uh, grant reduction or what we call clawback. Travis County shared the same sentiments, telling KXAN it doesn't foresee any impact with regards to Tesla's employment numbers. Sarah Alshah, KXAN News. And going in depth right now, 23,000 people work at Tesla in the Austin area. We don't know exactly how many people have lost their jobs here, but if it's 10% like the global workforce, that doesn't just mean those 2,000 people are out of work. Economist Ray Perryman says when you factor in all of the jobs that exist because of Tesla, the number is closer to 5,000. But he also notes that while it might deal a temporary blow to the Austin economy, those layoffs aren't unheard of. It, it's a fairly normal thing you see happen. Again, Austin's been through it many times with some of the tech companies as, as the demand for their products ebb and flow over time. And it's the, it's the kind of thing companies have to do. What it says is they're trying to be more efficient now. 
And despite mass layoffs, Perryman says Austin adds around 40,000 new jobs every year, protecting the city from long-term damage to the economy. Still ahead here on KXAN, we're counting down the days to the Olympics, and that now sits at just 100 days away. Getting ever closer, after the break, we will take a closer look at what to expect this summer in Paris. And also a closer look at the new graduating class in Austin, what the newest cadets were running for and what it means. Great. Roof leaking? Need a new roof? Call Jaycon Roofing and Repair. Roofing at its best with quality and pride since 1979. Jaycon Roofing, 4790510. Do you have a breaker that keeps breaking or a plug that's just not plugging? Call Salt today. Austin's most trusted electrician since 1984 and receive $54 off with our Easter Day special. Salt of the earth, sir. This is a paid advertisement for legal services. Your car's been totaled by a huge 18-wheeler. You're rushed to the hospital with serious injuries. You need serious help right now. You need real money. So call attorney Wayne Wright. Time is limited to get paid for medical bills, lost wages, car repairs, and for pain and suffering. Don't wait. Call 8. 888-8888. You need real money. The most money possible. Get Wayne Wright Injury Lawyers. Like a lot of you, I suffer from many debilitating joint aches and pains. Mine were from a career as a major league pitcher. But for years, professional athletes have been using a state-of-the-art, non-invasive treatment to get amazing relief. It's called regenerative therapies. Now, QC Kinetics brings them to you. Treatments right in the office, no downtime. Pain relief's not just for professional athletes anymore. I still got it. I'm feeling great, and you can too. Thank you, QC Kinetics. Class, old windows can pull away from the frame, letting moisture in. But Window Nation triple measures every window for a customized fit so you can stay dry. Isn't that right, Aaron? Oh! My two windows get two free. No payments for 24 months. Window Nation, the perfect fit. Spokesperson for Lorenz and Lorenz. You're driving down the road and out of nowhere, boom! You're hurt in a car accident. Call me. I'll fight to get you all the money you deserve. Call Ted Lorenz and boom! That's right. I'm on top of it. Meet Fargo, the new virtual assistant from Wells Fargo. Fargo makes banking faster and easier. Fargo, turn off my debit card. Let's you pick up the tab, even if you forget your wallet. I got this. Fargo, send Kaz $145 to the sale. Smooth. Fargo puts important information at your fingertips. Hey, Fargo, what did I spend on groceries this month? Hey, Dad, can the guys stay for dinner? No. Want to see everything Fargo can do? You can with Wells Fargo. This is it. This is what we've been training for. You're ready. We're ready. Salt keeps your AC and heater running all year long. Woo! Call now for your 129 AC tune up. Salt of the earth service. KXAN News Today. Every day. Bringing you in depth news first and foremost. And starting your day with first warning weather and traffic so you're always prepared. And tomorrow. Storm chances creep up late week, peaking over the weekend. A look at where those storms could turn severe and how much rain could fall in the coming days. When you wake up tomorrow, watch KXAN News Today, weekdays at 4.30 a.m. Welcome back on this Wednesday afternoon, and thanks again for staying with us here on KXAN News. You know, this view right here, it might get the gold medal. Mm. The weather, not so much. <laughs> uh, we just want to say hi to all of our friends out there in Lano. Thank you all for watching this afternoon. Yes, okay, so the race for the gold is getting a little closer. Today, we are exactly 100 days out from the opening ceremony at the Summer Olympics in Paris. It is an exciting time. NBC's Keir Simmons takes a look at how the City of Lights is getting ready for the big games. This morning, the Olympic flame en route from Greece to Paris. Just a hundred days from the City of Light's first Olympics in 100 years. And now, a first glimpse of the stunning venues built at some of the city's most famous sites. Oh my goodness. It's incredible. Under the Eiffel Tower, NBC News shown around the beach volleyball. This is exciting. I mean, to actually see it like this, you get a really, really a feeling for how it's going to be. Yeah, indeed. It is really exciting. You can almost feel the atmosphere of the 13,000 people. The centerpiece, said to be the River Seine, hosting the opening ceremony. 
This week, President Macron saying for the first time that France has backup locations planned if security threats arise. Now, many Olympic locations visible from a riverboat or bateau mouche. My guide, Paris podcaster Oliver G. This is where it's all going to happen. This is the Pont Alexandre Trois, a really famous bridge. Uh, and on both sides, we're going to be having Olympic events. That side and this side? Both. Wow. In total, there are 24 venues scattered in and around Paris in the Place de la Concorde, skateboarding, and for the first time, breakdancing at Les Invalides, archery, in the Grand Palais, taekwondo and fencing. While just nine miles outside Paris, the spectacular Chateau de Versailles, home of Louis XIV, who had a passion for horses, will stage the Olympic equestrian event. There will be a beautiful perspective on the Grand Canal and with a backdrop uh, with the Chateau de Versailles. Up to 40,000 spectators will watch competing riders encircle the magnificent golden fountains. Then a different kind of gold. At a French jewellery house, the Paris 2024 medals, set with tiny fragments of the Eiffel Tower and encased in bespoke Louis Vuitton trunks. Heightened security means every apartment overlooking events will be searched. Your Parisian apartment. Boston native Susan Godden shows us around her magnificent Paris home. Look at this. Yes. She has volunteered wow. to greet athletes when the games begin. It's such a beautiful city and I want everyone that comes here to have a wonderful experience and walk away, fall in love with it like I have. Wow. Will, like you were saying, that view. My oh, my gosh. goodness. Breathtaking. Okay, in 100 days, our very own Jayla Washington is getting ready to bring you all of the highlights from Paris. You can follow all of her coverage on air and online over at KXAN.com under the Sports tab. And I would encourage you also to follow her on Instagram because yeah. she is currently in New York City now. She's interviewing several athletes, and uh, she'll be there for a week. Yeah. And she is having a great time. <laughs> As expected. Yes. But also, can we just note how gorgeous she looks in that picture? I know. I just had to shout that out. <laughs> Do we know if she's learning any French uh, before she goes over? She is learning a little. So she mm. has sent an email to uh, the weekend crew, I think last week, and yeah. she put a little uh, French in little there. French so. Yeah, words. yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Very good. All right, let's update you on the pollen count today because uh, mold may be bothering you a bit. It's at medium. You can see ash, hickory, and mulberry are low, and we've got oak on page two, also low. So all things considered, most of our troublesome pollens are low except for mold. Temperatures across the state are very warm though for this time of year, remember. Upper 70s to low 80s now. We think we'll be well into the 80s for highs this afternoon. We're going with 86 in Austin, a lot of mid 80s today. But as we take it into the hill country, a few spots may just reach 90, especially where we're getting some breaks of sun already there. Our nighttime low or morning low, Thursday of 71 in Austin. If we don't drop below that, that would tie the record warm low for the date set back in 2011, and then we're already up to the low to mid 80s by midday tomorrow. We think some extra breaks of sun during the afternoon will help us get warmer tomorrow than today, with a high of 89 in, in Austin and more 90s in the hill country tomorrow should end up being our warmest day of the week ahead. You can see temperatures drop Friday and Saturday as the cold front gets closer. It doesn't fully move through the area, though, until Sunday morning. That's when we notice a bigger temperature drop as we go from the 70s to the 60s, and then we start to recover again back to near normal by Tuesday. But the humidity is going to be with us at least until that cold front gets closer. But until it clears us, then you don't notice a huge humidity drop, but that also happens Saturday into Sunday where we go from humid to uh, dry air by Sunday. But in the meantime, today and tomorrow especially, pretty oppressive levels of humidity. Still plenty of clouds across the state, and for right now we're dry, but there's probably some sprinkles and drizzle in a few spots already and a low chance for a stray storm later this afternoon. Slightly higher storm chance this evening especially in the hill country with a low of 71. And then we do have higher rain and storm chances tomorrow, but not really until tomorrow evening and night. That's when those rain chances get up to 30%. But there could be some stronger severe thunderstorms in the hill country, especially tomorrow evening. Friday's rain chances are a little lower, down to 20%. And there you can see what Friday may look like with those storms and showers near and south of Austin. But into the weekend, much wetter on Saturday. Now, the term washout, which we use rarely, indicates rain almost all day. And I'm not going to use it yet for Saturday, but it's getting close to that 
type of weather where it may be raining the vast majority of the time. I do think Saturday afternoon is wetter than the morning, and then the rain and storms get heavier late Saturday afternoon into Saturday night. Saturday night and into the overnight hours looks to be the wettest of the weather, the heaviest of the rain. And then those rain showers wrapping up early Sunday so that by Sunday afternoon we're back to being dry. So here's your weekend. Widespread rain and storms on Saturday. If it's not raining when you wake up Saturday, give it a few hours and then it will be, and then it'll be hard to turn off. There is a flash flood risk, especially Saturday evening and night with some of those heavier downpours. Beneficial rain, of course, but sometimes it can come too quickly uh, for us. You can see Sunday morning, early morning rain showers, and then the sun is out for the afternoon. Sunday afternoon actually looks kind of nice. Here's a look at our first warning weather seven day forecast. You can see the day daily rain chances continue through Sunday morning. The drier weather Sunday afternoon sticks with us through Monday. And then as we head into Tuesday, rain chances creep back up. All this talk of rain, you may be thinking and talking about the raindrops. Well, they're not actually shaped like a teardrop, like you might think from like a cartoon or something like that. They actually start out looking like a sphere, but then as they get bigger, then they start to look more like a jelly bean, kind of like this sort of shape, because the wind as they fall pushes up in the middle and pushes the middle up and spreads out the side. So it looks more like a jelly bean or a kidney bean shape until it gets too big, and then that splits apart again. That's today's first warning weather university lesson of the day. We'll be right back. Pertinalis Electric Cooperative, lighting the Texas Hill Country for over 85 years. Keeping you safe, warning you first. First warning weather on KXAN. If your garage is starting to feel more like a cluttered storage room, 1-800-GOT-JUNK is here to help. We'll help you get your space back with garage cleanup starting at just $197. Call 1-800-GOT-JUNK. Baby Shark is swimming to your city in the all-new musical swimsation Baby Shark's Big Broadway Tour. You and your kids can join in on this interactive adventure. Playing Bass Concert Hall April 30th and May 1st. Get tickets now at babysharkontour.com. It's like taking a baseball bat and hitting every muscle. And when you have pain and depression and anxiety, you hurt worse. Improving one aspect of your health can have positive effects on other areas as well. After consulting with Phil, we suggested the spinal cord stimulator. The device acts like noise-canceling headphones for pain. When it takes the pain away from you, it takes the anxiety away from you. Let us help you get back to the life you deserve. Same-day appointments available. Advanced pain care, the pain stops here. You know, if you were cash back and you could earn on everything with just one card, Chase Freedom Unlimited. So if you're off the racking or crab cracking, you're cash backing. Cash back on flapjacks, baby backs, or tacos at the Taco Shack. Nah, I'm working on my six pack. Switch to a king suite. Or book a silent retreat. Silent retreat? Oh, hold up. Yeah, I can't talk right now. I'm at a silent retreat. Cash back on everything you buy with Chase Freedom Unlimited with no annual fee. How do you cash back? Chase, make more of a yours. Gentry here, and I know we all love the idea of swimming in our own backyard, but here in Texas, you can only use a pool half the year. Atex has the year-round solution, the swim spa. With a swim spa, you can party with a pool in the summer and relax in your hot tub in the winter. Right now, swim a 0% for 72 months and instant cash rebates of up to eight grand. All of this for a quarter of the cost of an in-ground pool? That's a no-brainer. Turn your backyard into a year-round paradise with Atex hot tubs and pools. Austin Spa and pool experts for over 50 years. It's a sale as big as the state of Texas. The gigantic multi-million dollar store closing total liquidation sale at Furniture Mall of Texas. They're closing their doors forever. Now, everything must be sold down to the bare walls. 700 rooms, over 100,000 square feet of home furnishings, the largest mattress gallery in Central Texas. Everything slashed to unbelievably low store closing liquidation prices. Heirloom quality area rugs, 65% off. Hurry, before the doors close, everything goes at Furniture Mall of Texas. An accident with a company car, truck, SUV, van, or fleet vehicle is not just another car accident. Thomas J. Henry has a team of skilled company vehicle accident attorneys ready to fight for you. Thomas J. Henry, the name you know, the firm you trust. If your garage is starting to feel more like a cluttered storage room, 1-800-GOT-JUNK is here to help. We'll help you get your space back with garage cleanup starting at just $197. Call 1-800-GOT-JUNK. 
Austin police cadets set off this morning for their annual chief's run, but this time they have more women than ever before. Flanked by the red and blue lights of police motorcycles, just under 40 cadets jogged and chanted across the Congress Avenue bridge to the Texas Peace Officers Memorial on the Capitol grounds. The jog is a way for these soon to be officers to see our community they'll serve and pay respects to those who were killed in the line of duty. We do this run as a tradition up to up Congress, ending at the Texas Peace Officers Memorial, setting them up to go out there and do do great things on after graduation on Friday. And the cadets will be commissioned at the Bannockburn Church, that's on Brody Lane, and that will be this Friday at 1 p.m. Austin teenagers are helping raise money for clean water projects in East Africa. Austin-based nonprofit, well aware, and Matthew McConaughey's Just Keep Living Foundation teamed up with Water Walk. Students walked around at Navarro Early College High School while holding water storage tanks. Now the idea is really to raise awareness of how so many people are forced to live. It shows like what they got to do like every on a on a daily basis, and and the way they and the way that uh, the, this program helps them get clean drinking water. They have to walk like miles just to just to get uh, drinking water every day too. And students from three local schools took part in yesterday's walk at Navarro. They usually walk outside, but they couldn't yesterday because of the slippery wet grass. Such an amazing project, and it's good to put it in perspective for the students Absolutely. who've never been yeah, yeah, realizing something they may not ever really mm -hmm, think about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, quite the experience for them. I do want to give you your after-school forecast here today, because for most of us, it'll just be mostly cloudy. But there is a low chance for a very stray storm or shower, mostly in the hill country. The vast majority of us will see a few breaks in the clouds, but still mostly cloudy overall and 86 degrees at bus drop off or if you're going to the school to pick up your child, of course. Then we're down to 82 for after school activities, which continues that generally dry but not completely dry weather. Still very warm and humid though. Here's a look at our first warning weather seven day forecast. Rain chances a little higher this evening and then higher still. 30%, but not until tomorrow evening and night. I think a lot of dry time during the day, but we'll be watching the potential for some severe storms tomorrow evening and night. Rain chances drop a little on Friday and then they're way up Saturday. Not quite going 100% today, but uh, I think we may get there. Pretty decent coverage of rain and storms that comes with a flood risk. Jim Spencer will have an update starting at 4. Okay, Nick, thank you so much and thank you all for watching KXAN News at noon. We'll see you back here in about 30 minutes. in a car wreck? Call Lorenz and Lorenz. We're on top of it. This is your morning company. Wake up here weekdays on KXAN News Today. Teeth are amazing. That's why at Affordable Dentures and Implants, we are proud to offer a best price guarantee. Whether it's a first look or a second opinion, we make new smiles affordable for everyone. Go ahead and smile. We do it all at Closets by Design. Closets, garage, home office, and more. Take 40% off, plus get 12-month financing and free installation. Call 1-800-BY-DESIGN or visit closetsbydesign.com. Are you struggling to get through the day? Are you experiencing chronic pain, burning, numbness, and tingling in your hands or feet? Pay attention, because you are probably experiencing peripheral neuropathy. The most common symptoms are numbness, burning, muscle cramps, and problems with balance. Neuropathy is treatable, and our office may help you. It's time to get real results. Pick up your phone and call us right now. If you're one of the first 25 callers, you'll receive a free nerve damage screening. This nerve damage screening will tell you if you're at risk for serious nerve damage, and if you're qualified for our cutting-edge treatment program to stop the nerve damage. Don't wait until it's too late and your symptoms get so bad that you lose your freedom and are restricted to a wheelchair, walker, or need amputation. Call now to be one of the first 25 callers to receive a free nerve damage screening. Hurry, call now to find out if you qualify for our free nerve damage screening and see how we can change your life. It's time to feel better. Call today. 
Spokesperson for Lorenz and Lorenz. You got hurt in a car accident. Why should you call Ted Lorenz? Because when you're hurt, you need money. I got a client who injured their hand in a car wreck. $81,935.09. Another client of mine was hit on her bike and needed ankle surgery. I got her $194,362.32. Wow, why wouldn't you call Ted Lorenz? When it comes to accidents in Austin... I'm on top of it. Call 512-477-7333. At Idea Greater Austin, we believe every child deserves a high-quality education that prepares them for lifelong success. An education that focuses on the whole student, where your child can realize their full potential in and outside the classroom. With our dedicated teachers and staff, we are committed to providing a safe, healthy, and positive learning environment that fosters a lifelong love of learning. Their future is bright with IDEA. Apply now at ideapublicschools.org. With Fargo, the new virtual assistant from Wells Fargo, you can pick up the tab even when you forget your wallet. I got this. Fargo, send Kaz $145 to sell. Smell. Do you, Fargo? You can with Wells Fargo. At Affordable Dentures and Implants, we believe it's time the world sees your smile.